just an average guy who loves the outdoors. I love to hunt and I love to fish. Somewhere along the way I ended up with a video camera in my hand. So now I'm just cruising around checking out cool destinations. Sit back, put your feet up, and come on along. where I've been. This week I traveled southeast of Dryden just off Trans Canada Highway 17 to Pine Sunset Lodge. Not really sure what it is about Pine Sunset but as I pull up to the office it just seemed peaceful, simple, easy and uncomplicated. The lodge is close enough to the highway to make getting there simple but yet far enough that you feel remote and secluded. Pine Sunset Lodge is located on Denorwick Lake, 18,000 acres of water studded with numerous islands and bays. Denorwick is part of the Wabagoon Denorwick chain of lakes providing you with 50,000 acres of water stuffed with trophy game fish. The lake is considered by many to be one of the top combination of walleye and muskie waters in the country. Along with 12 pound walleyes and 50 plus muskies, you'll find 30 to 40 inch northern pike, 6 pound smallies, crappie, yellow perch, even lake trout can be found in nearby lakes. Ooh, nice. After I got settled into my cabin, the plan was to hit the water for some walleyes. As it turned out, the walleyes would have to wait. It was a bit windy on the Norwich, so we decided to hike into a smaller lake for some smallmouth. I joined guests Dan and Susan and Mitch, who along with his wife Sharon own Pine Sunset Lodge, on a trek into a smaller connecting lake for some smallmouth. First a scenic trip up the river, followed by a short portage to one of the many small lakes that help make up the Denorwick Wabagoon chain. Should I get the net? Where's the yeah, net? Yeah, it's behind you, Dan. Oh, right behind me. Oh, under my pole. Thank you. She got there, Susan. I think it's a small mouth. You think so? Oh, it does not want to stop, does it? If he's going to take... Whoa! Oh, if he's going to take line, just let him take line. Woo! Look at that one. A chunkosaurus right there. Holy man. That's dandy. Look at this size of that. Oh, sweet fish. You should hold it. That's good. Oh, it's gonna back up. There we go. Smiled. Changed to a swim bait. Oh man, I can see it. See the shadow down there. It's a monster. <laughs> oh, 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 is there another one with it too? Oh, there is. I thought I saw another one with it. They, yeah. They like to team up. No under the boat. Ooh. Into the net, under the boat. It's good. good job, Mitch you got, got one. one. <laughs> Be able to get him out. <laughs> There's buddy. Like, fish for it. Buddy. Here, watch out, Susan. Here. There you go. That's nice. Do you need me to net it? Woo! Net it. Okay. Kiss him. Set him free. Uh, did you really kiss him? I did kiss him. He deserved yeah. to be kissed. <laughs> Little buddy. At the surface. Oh, he's going to jump in the boat. Uh, he almost did. He almost did. Oh, he tried, but he's like so There you nice. go. Nice. Dan is hot. Get his own. Owie. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's what happened to me before. Nice. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> not fighting like a fish? Oh, yeah, not as. <laughs> Drag him over to me. All right. You the man!
Most lakes in this area are rocky Canadian shield lakes. Where there's lots of rocks, there's lots of crayfish. And where there's crayfish, there's sure to be smallmouth. <laughs> Get him, Susan. Woohoo! One, Dan. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Hold him up, Susan. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a nice one. Right in the roof of the mouth. Set him free so he can get big. In the spring, smallmouth bass fishing is a hit or miss affair. Smallmouth bass leave the rocks and seek out sandy bars with dead logs on the bottom. This is prime spawning area. The trick is to stay mobile. Don't waste time in places where you're not catching fish. When you hit the right bay at the right time, you could be in for some of the best smallmouth fishing of your life. He's gonna jump. Oh, he went back down. In the summer and fall, the smallmouth bass are all over the lake. If it's been a cold and unusually rainy spring. Wow, Dan, I think that's the biggest one. The northern pike will still be in the shallows along the shore, so sometimes the smallmouth go deep. Nice. Erratic changes in atmospheric pressure will also affect bass movements. If you hit a rocky point the crap out of and there are no bass, <laughs> try moving 30 feet further out into the yeah, lake and drop a big worm on a hook or a tube jig down to the bottom. If you specifically fish for smallmouth bass in the summer, you should get a couple at every rocky point or shoal. Averaging around 20 to 30 bass a day. That's a big fish there, Susan. Smallmouth are common in the 2 to 4 pound range, along with several in the 4 to 5 pound range. 6 and 7 pound fish are rare, but definitely oh, in the lake. There you go. Woo! Oh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you hit a spot that looks really hot and you don't catch anything, it could mean a big pike or muskie has moved into the area. Oh, another jump! If you do catch a big bass, Try coming back to that spot an hour later. On the Norwich, the big trophy smallmouth travel in mating pairs. If you don't catch anything at what appears to be a prime spot, it doesn't mean the bass aren't there. Trophy smallies are old, smart, and cautious. I guess I'll, I guess I'll net yours for you since he's not bringing any friends. The sound of the motor or a noise in the boat can sound the alarm and they can quickly shut down. Keep hitting those prime areas and chances are you won't be disappointed. You don't need to see your face. Even though many bass get eaten before they reach maturity, there's always a couple of spots in the lake where you'll hit a school and catch moderate sized fish on almost every cast. But again, if you're in search of the monsters, the smallie that will rip the line off your reel and put on an aerial show, concentrate on the rocky points adjacent to deep water. Keep in mind, this can also be prime habitat for giant muskies and pike, so you might need to adjust your tactics. Keep your bait close to the rocks or the bottom. Even the largest of bass will be reluctant to Woo! swim out into the open when there's a giant muskie patrolling the area. A nice fishy right there. Mwah. Dang it. Oh. Dude, get the net. <laughs> oh, you got time. Nice. Got them dirty. <laughs> Wash them off and then let them go. <laughs> Too much. Oh, you're like a big fish. He's a huge fish right now. Say smallmouth. Good job. Small <laughs>